We are in the middle of a global pandemic and no one seems to even realize it. I think people will... Um, <laughs> ranks 139 out of... ...to hear how using the term epidemic of violence. <laughs> And I'm not even talking about COVID, no. This has nothing to do with COVID-19. This started long before COVID-19. This is deadlier than COVID-19. Sexual assault is any it's estimated that one in six people are affected by this pandemic the throughout their lifetime. Of the recipient. According to the United Nations statistics, 137 women are killed every single day by a member of their family. This pandemic is known as violence against women and girls. In response to this ravaging pandemic, the United Nations have come together in a global effort to start a campaign known as Orange the World and Gender-Based Violence. We say gender-based violence, but violence by whom? These women, some, some of them are in world dialogue and the war division. Yes, there are cases where women attack women and men attack men. With the focus on disrupting the norms, the violence against women. But we must be forthright in addressing this ugly epidemic that it is overwhelmingly women who suffer violence from men. I would say power imbalance is one of the major drivers of violence against women and girls. How girls are considered weak and need policing. This has been coming in our norms. Before anything else, it must be Effort at the Violence against women and girls is fundamental. It's a foundational problem in the way our society is structured, how women are seen to be lesser beings, how women are not permitted to be sexual beings in a way that men are, how women are considered to be property. This is manifested in widely held practices, such as the stigma attached to menstruation, what a woman can wear and cannot wear, how it is immoral for women to be open about their sexual desires. It is easy to try to dismiss the global concerted response towards any gender-based violence. However, we must not also forget that these statistics are not just numbers on a screen, but they represent your wives, sisters, daughters, lovers and even the children. In many societies today, men have dedicated rooms where they beat their wives because they are taught to discipline them. Together we can achieve orange the world and gender-based violence.